diffusion of innovations theory was proposed by Everett Rogers in 1962. He was a professor of rural sociology and he also published a book called Diffusion of Innovations. He summarized diffusion studies. Uh, he took uh, into account the 508 diffusion studies. Based on that, he produced a theory called diffusion of innovations theory. So this diffusion of innovations theory speaks how the new ideas are diffused in a social system. Diffusion is nothing but the spread of an innovation, uh, how the innovations or ideas or behavior which is disseminated with the help of the mass media or any other channels of communication are adapted uh, in the society by the members of the social system. So according to the Everett Rogers, diffusion is a process where an innovation is communicated among the members of the social system using a uh, various kinds of channels of communication over a period of time, which means uh, a diffusion is a process where the innovations are diffused, which are spread using various channels of communication. It can include the mass media as the channels of communication or traditional folk forms or interpersonal communication channels, whatever may be the channels of communication. Using these communication channels, the new ideas are spread among the members of the social system over a period of time so that the individuals will adopt the new innovations. According to the Everett Rogers, innovation is a new idea which is perceived as new by the individuals that is considered as an innovation. So innovation might be a practice, innovation might be an object, it can be an idea or it can be a technology which is perceived as new by the individuals in a society. For example, before the COVID uh, pandemic came to existence, uh, we were not aware of using the mask, etc. But after the COVID uh, is, uh, came into existence, we started wearing a mask. And wearing a mask is a practice. Maintaining the social distance is also a practice, etc that we have uh, started practicing even though it is a, it is considered as new the practice is something we have adopted which means the new idea called wearing a mask uh, maintaining the social distance social distance is adopted by us the same way a new innovation it can be a product or it can be a service which is offered by a company that is diffused in a social system and as a members of the society we uh, try to buy those the new products which are launched by the companies etc or we may go and buy a service it can be a insurance policy or it can be any technology uh, service which is offered or we may buy a product which enables us to do a thing uh, very quickly, etc. So anything, the innovation is anything that we perceive it as uh, something which is new in a society. It can be a practice, it can be an idea, it can be object. And diffusion is a process where these new innovations are diffused, which are spread, which are communicated among the members of the social system. There are five factors which influence the diffusion rate of an innovation. What makes the individuals, uh, what are the factors which influence the individuals to adopt the new innovation? Relative advantages, compatibility, complexities, or simplicity, triability, observability, relative advantages. The advantages, when you compare with the previous innovations, how best is the new innovation? What are the advantages which the new innovation offers for us? It can be a product, uh, for example, if it is a product, how best is uh, the new product when you compare with the other products? Compatibility, whether it is compatible to use for us, okay, whether it suits in our life. So that is compatibility, complexity, or simplicity. Whether using the new innovation or adapting the new innovation is complex to use or simple to use. Triability, whether the new innovation can be tried by the among the members of the social system. How easily we can 
try the new innovation triability is also refers to the accessibility of a new innovation observability is nothing but how the new innovation is visible observable for others for example if you are buying a car it is observable for others and you may get also the compliments triability refers if the new car if you want to buy whether it is accessible to you to you or not where it is available to buy etc complexity whether to drive the car is easy or simple or complex to use or a uh, drive compatibility whether it suits to your life the uh, monies which are involved in buying a new car etc whether that is uh, affordable or not the advantages what are the advantages you get if you want to use that new innovation like car a relative advantages for example wearing a mask when you considered as a new innovation what are the advantages of using a mask you might not be affected with the covid or uh, its variants and you may protect your uh, family along with you and uh, it also saves the expenditure you may spend on uh, your medical expenses etc and uh, using a mask is compatible to use uh, in your life and uh, it is simple to use wearing a mask and you can access uh, to buy a mask anywhere uh, in your locality it is as yes, it is observable and uh, when we want to adopt a new innovation we think of what are the advantages we get when we accept a new innovation or when we practice something in your life are the five stages where the new innovations are communicated among the members of the social system the awareness stage it is the initial stage of uh, an innovation where the innovation is communicated among the members of the social system and people come to aware of the new innovations which are there in the society or the social system and in the interest stage when you are aware of the new innovation you might have interest in using a new innovation or buying a new innovation or practicing a new behavior etc decision you take a decision to use the new innovation or adopt the new innovation in your life and in the fourth stage try and experiment stage you buy the product if it is a product or if it is a service you hire the service or if it is a practice you practice the new innovation or the new idea in your life and if you feel that the new innovation is compatible to use or it is simple to uh, use and it is compatible in your life and you have some benefits if you use the new innovation in that case you select the new innovation and you may adopt the new innovation for your future purposes or if you find any difficulties in using a new innovation or if it is a product you are not satisfied with the product or the service which is offered by a company or an organization or if it is a practice if you find it is difficult to practice etc the innovation then you might simply reject the information these are the five stages where the new innovations are diffused in the social system and people come to aware of the new innovations which are there in the society and they try to adopt the new innovations or reject the new innovation and they take a decision if they they found uh, the new innovations are suitable in their life so here uh, in the first two stages awareness stage and interest stage the communication channels help to create awareness among the members of the social system regarding the services which are offered by a company or products launched for the benefit of the consumers or else even if it can be a idea which is propagated by the government or any uh, ngos to adopt the new practice in the social behavior etc so here those are the five stages where the new innovations are communicated among the members of the social system then there are five categories of adopters they adopt the new innovations the innovators are the first category of the adopters who 
adopt the new innovation according to the average rogers they constitute 2.5% of the population and early adopters are the individuals who adopt the new innovations after the innovators generally they have highest degree of opinion leadership and they have high social status finances and also the people who are they are younger in age and have higher social status because of all these factors the early adopters are willing to take risk and they want to adopt the new innovation and early adopters also might be the opinion leaders or the people whom we considered as the role models in a society if when it comes to the adopting the practice of new form of behavior etc so here they constitute 13.5% and early majority are the individuals in this category they adopt the new innovation after a varying degree of time after looking at uh the other individuals in the society they try to adopt the new innovation and they also constitute 34% and they have above average social status and late majority are the individual category who adopt the new innovation after the majority of the society has adopted the new innovation they observe the other individuals their family and friends and other individuals in the social system and they try to adopt the new innovation laggards are the last category of the adopters who adopt a new innovation after observing their families and friends by the time they decide to adopt the new innovation that or the practice of an innovation might be changed or the products which are launched for the benefit of the consumers might not be available or the products or services might be replaced with other products and services so here these are the five categories of adopters which were proposed by the everett rogers in this diffusion of innovations theory innovators are the first one to adopt the new innovations early adopters are having high social status finances and uh, they are the one they have uh, highest degree of uh, leadership they are holding and because of that they are willing to take risk and they adopt the new innovation late majority they adopt the new innovation after a varying degree of time looking at others etc they have above average social status and late majority and laggards are the normal human beings or what we call the individuals uh, who have uh, lowest social status and by the time they decide uh, to use the new innovations that might also be replaced by the other new innovations also so that is uh, diffusion of innovations theory and what about the role of uh, media in diffusion of innovations theory just now we have discussed about the five stages where the new innovation is communicated among the members of the social system the awareness stage and interest stage in the awareness stage that is the first initial stage the new innovations are communicated among the members of the social system in those kind of cases the mass media channels play an important role in disseminating the information regarding the new innovations and when it comes to the changing the behavior of people to adopt the new innovations etc the interpersonal channels of communication play an important role in convincing the people to adopt the new form of behavior or new innovations in their uh, life so here uh, in all those adapter categories people come to know about the new innovations because of the mass media channels and apart from the mass media channels and interpersonal communication uh, the new media forms of communications also play an important role in disseminating the information for the larger public regarding the various innovations mm-hmm.